This looks like an ordinary play date. Two little girls having fun. You're helping. You're helping. But it's a life-changing meeting. Tiny Alyssa Lim has come from Singapore to meet up with three-year-old Tallulah Moon to find a cure for a rare form of hereditary spastic paraplegia. It's a one in a million chance mutation that affects their ability to walk or talk, caused by the faulty gene SPG56. I can't explain how lonely we felt when we were told that she was, Tallulah was the only diagnosis in Australia. What we are only hearing from the doctors is that it's incurable, so that's why we feel even more alone. But they are daring to dream and have put their faith in former Australian of the Year, Professor Alan Mackay Sim, whose stem cell research helped a paraplegic in Poland walk again. In the fairyland sense, we'd love to be able to reverse it. If we stopped the effect of the mutation early, we might be able to have their normal development progress. Using nasal stem cells, researchers from Griffith University have already found a drug used in cough medicine to treat a more common type of the disease. Now they're taking a stab in the dark to crack this case. Researchers say there are as many drugs in the world as there are stars in the universe, but they've managed to narrow it down to 3,000 that are already approved for use and could unlock the key to this genetic mystery. The medical pathway for a cure comes down to the girl's mutated cells and how they respond to a class of drugs. We're seeing if with those drugs we can modify that abnormal cell to become more like a normal cell. Both girls were diagnosed before their second birthdays. She's certainly a very special kid that um, we wouldn't change for, her, for anything. Tallulah's parents have raised half a million dollars to help fund this research. I want Tallulah to live a long and happy life. Just to say, you know, mom, dad, just to call us by name. It's a race against time. You say, hiya! Lexi Hamilton-Smith, <laughs> ABC News.